All right, everyone. So I've been getting some requests on how to update your uh, Smart Cash wallet on your Node from uh, version 1.1.0 to 1.1.1, and there's two methods to do this depending on how you uh, approached section seven in the PDF. So if you want to pause this video, open the uh, PDF that you looked on how to install this, go to section seven. And there's two methods. Uh, the first one would be the PPA method, and that was the easy way. And then the second method was the manual way of uh, downloading the file and extracting it. Most of you probably use the PPA method, but when I set up my nodes, they, uh, the PPA repository was down, so I had to do it manually. So one quick way to find out which way you did it, if you don't remember looking into the PDF and you don't remember which one you did, um, basically, if you can type smart cache D and you press enter um, and it works or gives you an error saying that it's already running, kind of like you'll see up here, um, I already did that and it says it's it started to try to run, uh, but then it gave me an error because it's already running. So basically what you would do here is press enter and if it gives you uh, if it just says smart cache server run starting and then nothing happens then you're good uh, if it start and or if it gives you an error then you know that you used the PPA method that's that's pretty easy um, another way to kind of if it's already running and you want to know where the binary is located you can type in which and then smart cache D and then that'll give you the location which in this case is user bin smart cache D now uh, if it was the manual method, you it would be located in the smart at home, smart admin, and then the dot smart cache folder, but it's not. So first, I'm going to show you how to do it quickly for the uh, for the PPA method, and then we'll go to the uh, manual method. So basically, what you want to do here, once you've established that you've done the PPA method, is you want to do sudo uh, apt that get update and this is going to update your uh, repositories to see what files uh, are the latest on the repository and then it's going to compare them to uh, yours so just let it run here and do its thing All right, so that's done. Now you're going to tell it to install Smart Cache D. sudo apt get install Smart Cache D. Oops. Now, mind you that the server is currently running already, uh, but that's not an issue. Uh, it'll download and install, and then once you tell it to stop, it'll and you start it again it will um, start the new version. So you're going to do this. Um, don't worry about what it's going to say for me. It's going to say that nothing has been updated because I'm already running uh, the 1.1.1 version. But on your machine, it should say that it's uh, gotten the latest version and it's installing it. So just as long as you type in those commands, it should work for you. Now, if you type in smart cache dash CLI and then get info now if you look here at the version you want to make sure that you're on version 10.10.100 um, but if if you if you run the install file uh, or the install command and then you run the get info and it'll it should still be the uh, the old version missing this one here and just 10.10.30s, uh, I believe, is the old version. Now, and that's only just because the it's already running while you told it to install, so it's not going to run. So what you want to do is stop the server, and you do that by doing smart cache dash CLI stop. So it's going to tell you that the server is stopping. Uh, give it about you know 20 seconds, 30 seconds for it to actually stop because sometimes the server can take a couple of 
uh, like 10 20 seconds to actually stop and if you try to start it again it's not a big deal but it'll just keep giving you errors until it's actually stopped the application so now we're gonna start uh, smart cache D again and it should start up again now if, if I was to type in the smart cache CLI that get info it'll probably by I'm pressing up twice now and then pressing uh, return it'll give me the, that it's loading the blocks um, but it only gives you that status for a one-time thing if you want to watch it while it's uh, updating it might take a couple of seconds before it gets to where it's gonna display all this information that you're looking for you can just wait it like 10 seconds and then do it again and it's gonna do it again or you can just type in uh, watch minus n space one uh, smart cache dash CLI and then get info and then press enter now what this is gonna do is it's gonna uh, every once what it's doing is basically running that smart cache dash CLI get info command every one second and it's showing you on the screen what it's displaying after it runs it so it's kind of like a live version and then you'll see that the version is 10 dot uh, not 10 dot it'll just be 10 10 100 and then you want to see that the blocks are kind of counting up and then once it's um, stopped counting up like dramatically it just sits at one number that that's the latest uh, block that it's reached then you would go to your uh, desktop wallet and then you would uh, start it and on your desktop wallet you're gonna want to make sure that the protocol uh, so the protocol version um, the old wallet is uh, 90,024 and then the new version is 90,025 now let your desktop wallet sync it'll still say 90,024 and then when you click start alias and type in your password it should update to 90,025 and go into an, a pre-enabled uh, state. So this is the uh, PPA method, and now I will do the uh, manual method. Right, so now that I'm in the uh, .smartcache folder, um, I've stopped the uh, PPA binary file, and I'm just going to download the uh, the newer file. So let's assume I'm going to do um, ls minus a which shows me all the files of the current directory that I'm in and as you can see there's no smart cache D or smart cache dash CLI because we currently have the PPA method so what I'm gonna do is let's pretend it was there for now um, all I would have to do is just uh, go to the smart cache website copy the address for the new wallet for Linux and then um, what you want to do is type w get and then you'd right click and then that would paste the uh, the thing the link that you just copied and then you press enter it's gonna download it and then to extract the uh, tar file because the tar file is kind of like a zip file it's a it's a compressed file that has a bunch of files inside of it what you want to do is tar and then minus xvf and then you're going to uh, start typing smart and then uh, if you press the tab key on your keyboard it should automatically pick up uh, the tar file since it already knows that it's looking for a tar file because you typed in the uh, tar uh, command so we're gonna press enter and it's gonna start extracting it now notice how it's extracting it into another uh, folder called smart cache dash one dot one dot one um, and then it's in the binary folders for that so what we want to do is we're gonna change directory so sorry about that that was just my parallels so what we're gonna do is uh, CD uh, for change directory and then we're gonna type in smart and we should be able to just press tab again once you start typing smart because um, there's only one folder inside the smart cache folder that we extracted called smart that starts with a smart cache so it kind of is smart in that way uh, pun not intended in finding the uh, the folder that you're trying to get basically and then uh, slash bot bot bin which is stands for binary and the binary files are inside of that so we're gonna go with that and then we're gonna use the mv command which is move 
and then we're going to tell it star. Star basically is a wild card. It tells it everything. We could do star.sh, so star.sh would look for anything uh, ending in a .sh uh, file name. Or we could say, you know, Big Mac. Whatever it is, um, the, the wild card is there, but we want every single file inside this folder. So we're just going to do star, which means just everything. And then we're going to type in... Um, now we want to extract it to the smart cache folder. So if you can see here, we're currently inside the binary file uh, folder, which is inside the smart cache 1-1.1.1. And then that's inside the smart cache folder. Now we want those files inside the smart cache folder. So we're moving them. Uh, we're moving everything in this current folder to dot dot slash dot dot. Now dot dot is uh, one folder up, and then slash dot dot again, which means one folder up. So when we press enter, it's done the command, and that means it moved everything from the um, binary file, uh, one up and then one up again into the smart cache file. So we're gonna go cd dot dot forward slash dot dot just like we did the move uh, command and press enter. Now we're back into the smart cache folder. And if you did it correctly, we'll do ls minus a, which lists all the files again. And you can see now we have in green, which are means they're executable files. We have the smart cache d file. We have the smart cache dash CLI, and we have the QT wallet, which you don't even need, and the uh, TX. Now, if we do, um, if you do smart cache D, that's not going to work. That's going to, that would run the by the PPA method. Um, what you want to do when you've done it manually is you type a dot forward slash and then smart cache D, and then you press enter, and then it's going to tell you to start. It's starting the thing the uh, the server so now that it started I had showed you earlier by typing which smart cache D uh, which tells you where it's the current application that's running called smart cache D is running from and earlier it was in the user uh, binary folder but now it should display in the smart cache folder when we type in which smart cache D see it says home smart admin dot smart cache and then the executable uh, itself so again we're gonna do uh, watch minus n one uh, space one then smart cache dash CLI and then get info and see it's still rewinding the blocks we're gonna see what it's gonna do it's loading the wallet, it's loading the addresses. So this is kind of like a snapshot every one second of what that command brings up. So now we want to make sure again that the version is 1010100 and the protocol version is 90025. And then once the blocks have uh, gotten, like they're not uh, updating anymore, that should mean that you're up to, up to date on this wallet. Um, and you can use the smart uh, the smart bot in Telegram to see what the current block is by typing forward slash info. Um, and then once this is synced up to date and you have the uh, new wallet on your PC or your Mac or your Linux uh, operating system computer, um, once it's all synced up as well, then you would go ahead and start the uh, the the node from your local wallet. Now in your local wallet, again like I said, the uh, the protocol version should change from before before you click start and type in your password, it'll be 90,024 and then after you start it, it should auto right away update to 90,025 and then the, the state will go into pre-enabled and then eventually go to enabled and then you're done. So I hope this has been kind of useful if, it, if you didn't know how to do it. I'm sorry I'm talking really fast. It's just um, I need to slow down in terms of when, when I do these tutorials. And uh, hopefully if you have any issues, just um, write down in the comments and, and I'll try to respond to you. Thanks a lot.